What up, my name? This is Dr. Love 7 and this is going to be a, a, well, a Dragon Ball Z Universe 3 discussion video. I've kind of had one of these before when it was like the... People didn't understand that video, though. It was me talking about other people commenting, like, you know, just wait for Dragon Ball Z Universe 3 and don't buy Z Universe 2. And I was saying, no, that's a bad idea. But people thought I was telling you not to buy Z Universe 2. I don't understand if you watched the whole video. But anyway, for this video, I'm going to be talking about the possibilities of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, when would it be coming out, all the type of stuff, details on Xenoverse 2's future. I'm not gonna tell you guys like all the, but it's a discussion, all right? It's, it's, it's a discussion. And just letting you guys know, I'm, it's like seven, it's a 7.11 p.m., 7.11. And I'm recording this on like an hour and a half, barely two hours of sleep. So I'm kinda tired. But, you know, I figured I'm still gonna record this video, gonna talk about it for you guys. And with you guys, and also I want you guys to comment below what you guys have to say about this topic because, um, you know, I'm curious to see what people think about it. So Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, right? Even though it's weird that we're talking about it, even though Xenoverse 2's only been out for, it came out in October, November, December, January, February, March. It's only been out for not even five, five complete months. Because this is March, uh, 7th when I'm recording this, 2017. Came out October something 2016, it's like 20 something something, I, I don't know, 17th? You know, I don't know. It came out in October, you guys know. So, uh, Xenoverse 2 currently just got, it just released DLC Pack 2 like a few days ago. And, um, hold on, let me move this thing. It makes it sound, it makes it sound like I'm farting, but it's just a thing moving on my chair. But anyway, so Xenoverse 2 released DLC Packs 1 and 2, which were both, in my personal opinion, very, very, very underwhelming. They weren't, they're not, I got the season pass, um, from Bandai, shout out to you guys. Um, but the thing is, it's like... I, it, okay, I even though I got these for free, I still look at it in a consumer's, you know, standpoint because I'm still a consumer. So I'm sitting here and I'm going through DLC Pack 1. It's like, was it worth $10 individually? Heck to the no. DLC Pack 2, was it worth $10 individually? Heck no. I, I mean, I haven't tried the story missions yet, but it's like, I'm probably not even going to get around to that for a while because I'm doing so much other stuff. I'm trying to play other games on this stuff, but DLC Pack 2, 1 and 2 together... That's half of deal. That's half of the season pass already. DLC pack three. I'm not gonna say anything here, but based on what I do know, should be a lot. Like I mean, a lot more worth it than DLC packs one and two were. But I mean, for a lot of people, they gave up after DLC pack two. A lot of people are saying, you know, screw it. Um, honestly, for all the people that are buying the DLC packs individually or are starting to do that, I would recommend just saving for the season pass as a whole and then just getting it all unlocked later on via via season pass because buying each of them individually like i don't even based, even based off what i know i don't even think i don't even know if dlc pack 3 is gonna be you know worth sp spitting out ten dollars for you know so i wouldn't recommend it i would say get them like that but you know xenoverse 2 because okay so it's the first season's pass xenoverse 1 season pass lasted about mm, i want to say six months something like that and DLC pack, Xenoverse 2's, you know, season pass, I think is gonna lot, obviously last a lot longer, cause since we're already about five months into the DLC, it well, into the game's lifespan, and, uh, DLC pack 2 just came out, and that's DLC pack 2 out of 4 DLC packs, so we have a while to go, and DLC pack 3 should be having a lot more stuff in it than 1 and 2, so I don't know, so Lord knows who long, uh, who long, what, how long that's gonna take until that releases, and also Xenoverse 1, like, all, the game, overall like completely died six months after release so it's like that's only one month away from where we are right now but we only have two out of four dlc packs like i just said so um let's say right let's just say that dlc pack uh for the whole season the first season were to, uh, well the first and last you never know season for dlc pack um not dlc pack for xenoverse 2 were to come out in uh let's say june or something like that because it's march april may june it's only three months away let's say sometime in june um, that'd be, like, after that, the development for, because Xenoverse 2 was being worked on just a, I, I, I don't think it was that much after Xenoverse 1 died off. I, I don't think it was that much, uh, that much after. Um, but Xenoverse wasn't supposed to be a series originally, it was just supposed to be, like, a standalone game, so the fact that it even got a sequel was a miracle. Even though they fixed what they, you know, I'm not gonna get into that. But Xenoverse 3, right? Because a lot of people go around the comment section, they're like, oh, for Xenoverse 3, they should do this. Oh, why don't they just save this for Xenoverse 3? Oh, instead of for Xenoverse 3, it'd be cool if Xenoverse 2 had this. And that one I agree with, because we shouldn't have to wait for a whole other game just to get, like, certain features, you know? 
Like, they should be able to put it in this game via, like, update patches and whatnot. But, um, what I wanted to talk about real quick was that, um, you know, I, it, okay, so, DLC pack, uh, no, not DLC pack. See, I'm kind of tired, so I'm, like, I'm trying to stay on, t on, uh, on topic. But Xenoverse 3, the possibilities of it becoming a game, nobody knows. But... Let's just say it were to be... Okay, let me ask you guys a question real quick. I know people are going to want to respond to this. Would you guys rather have a Xenoverse 3 or a completely new... And I'm when I mean completely new, I'm not saying bringing back Budokai or bringing back Tenkaichi or bringing back anything. Completely new Dragon Ball game. Like, either if it's a standalone game or, or a series or whatever. Because I don't think any of them really mean to be series i think they just try to be standalone games i don't know well from from at least that's what i'm thinking you know i don't know for sure because i don't work there obviously and i don't know like the details but um xenoverse 3 for 2018 or a completely new game you know but um also i want to say this right let's say xenoverse 3 were to come out either way we'd probably get the new game before we were to get xenoverse 3 because Xenoverse 2 is they're trying to make the last as long as possible because they have DLC planned for at least a year Which is why I'm also like okay. Well with DLC pack 4 That coming out in June If it was if they're going by their word even if it's not with the DLC packs even if it's with like via free DLC and stuff like that Then it's like which I, I doubt that all of it's gonna be free after DLC pack 4. It's like, you know That's all the way till October. And it's only March April May June July August September October. That's seven more months We've only been in for five months and we already have two DLC packs out. DLC pack three is going to be Future Trunks art based. DLC pack four? We don't know. That could end up being Universe Survival art based, but I'm thinking they might stretch out the Trunks stuff in between those two or maybe some filler stuff or maybe a different type of DLC pack because, um, what's his face? Bojack's files were found in the DLC pack two update. Like, he's not in the game, but he's going to be. Like, they found the files for him to be made for the game in it so they are adding him as a movie character which leads the question so are they gonna add other movie characters or whatever are we gonna have to wait till a potential xenoverse 3 for this you know dlc 2 D uh, not dlc 2 D uh xenoverse 2's lifespan you know because it's weird because xenoverse 2 is gonna last at least a year roughly based off what they said if they're gonna you know go on their word so and also we never know based on D dlc pack 3 and 4's success and xenoverse 2 its reception overall we might get a whole nother season of DLC, which could end up being a whole nother year or less. You never know. So, but like I said before, though, if we were to, let's say Xenoverse 3 will happen in the future. 20, if it were to happen, honestly, I wouldn't bet on it happening until like 2019, maybe 20, maybe, maybe, maybe 2020, but probably closer to 2019 because of business. But like I said, though, I mean, honestly, after Xenoverse 2 for the, for 2018's game, you might know 2017 2017 actually because 20 xenoverse 2 came out in 2016 so maybe the xenoverse 2 would be in 2018 or well, xenoverse 2 xenoverse 3 maybe but even so that it's like that depends on how dlc pack 2's you know how how well uh, not DLC. dang it the season pass depends on how well the season pass is received overall like in the long run when it's all finished DLC specs one two three and four come out also, after all the DLC packs are out, you know, disregarding the free DLC, there's going to be a lot more content in Xenoverse 2, which is really good to hear, but, I mean, again, we don't know about DLC Pack 4, but we know DLC Pack 3, I don't know if all this is going to be in DLC Pack 3, but I'm assuming it is, we're going to get, I can't speak, we're going to get Vegito Blue, Zamasu, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, um, what's his face, uh, who else are we getting, uh, Merge Zamasu, I, I'd assume? I don't think they'd put that for DLC Pack 4. I mean, like, I'd hope they wouldn't, at least. But, you know, and then let's say a Xenoverse 3 were to come out. By the time that game were to be a thing, we'd already have, like, all this content, plus the newer stuff. Plus, the universe, uh, Universal Tournament, Universal Survival Arc stuff, I should say. I don't think that would happen until either the next Dragon Ball Z game or potentially a Xenoverse 3, depending on how long they make Xenoverse 2 last. Because they really, they really, really want this game to last a long time. So, everyone that's holding their breath for Xenoverse 3 to be announced, I wouldn't bet on it because, like, honestly, they're not even really thinking about a Xenoverse 3. They're just like, we gotta make Xenoverse 2 last as long as it can, we gotta make it shape out to be the best game that it can be, all this stuff, main focus Xenoverse 2. They even mentioned in an interview, they were like, when's Xenoverse 3 gonna come out? They were like, we're focused on Xenoverse 2, man, like, 
you know, don't don't even worry about a Xenoverse 3. It's just all Xenoverse 2 right now. That's our main focus. So, I mean, with that being said, you know, for the next Dragon Ball Z game, you know, and, and also, okay, let's say another Dragon Ball Z game were to come out after Xenoverse, like, for 2017. Don't take that as, don't completely take that as, oh, Xenoverse is not gonna, Xenoverse 2 is not gonna get a sequel, as in, like, Xenoverse 3. Because, like I said, there could still be one, just, like, it would take more time because they're working so much on Xenoverse 2. If that makes sense. But my throat kind of hurts, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new here for some more, you know, Dragon Ball content overall. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this video and this discussion. I really want to know what you guys think about it and what you guys have to say just overall. And, um, yeah.